Yeah, Smack Talk Centre. What the deal, yo? It's your boy, the infamous informer, Mike Zigzag Ziggler, in effect right now. I watched the Elimination Chamber last night. I'm bringing, I'm bringing you the review. Spoiler alert. So, if you don't want to know what happened and you want to watch the Elimination Chamber, which I suggest that you don't, you might as well watch me. You might as well watch me and, you know, because the Elimination Chamber, quite frankly, it was, but it was a rubbish. But it was like, it was the most predictable elimination chamber. It was the most predictable pay per view I've probably ever seen. And for that, it was poor, it was weak. You know, now being bear in mind, this is supposed to be the, the pay per view to lead up to Big Big WrestleMania to make us think, oh shit, this is gonna happen, and this is gonna happen, and this is gonna happen, and it. It was like. We, it, what, whatever we predicted in it, it was gonna happen. You know what I mean? It's happened. Simples. You know what I mean? It's like we, it's, it's like we watched the Elimination Chamber like a month ago without watching it. You know what I mean? That's what happened. I have got my hot cross buns here. I have got my coffee. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about this because there was there was some interesting elements in there. I gotta give it that. Now, now. Raw Elimination Chamber. I mean, you know, I'll break it down as quick as I can, as brief as I can, and that's how I roll. The Raw Elimination Chamber, that was the first match that come on. For one, I was like, hey? I'd expected the Raw Elimination Chamber to come on later on in the night. No, it come on first. So immediately I was like, oh, flip you now. You know, knowing that the SmackDown, the, comp the competitors in the SmackDown Chamber was like, yeah, yeah. Wait, more than that later. Which, in my personal opinion, turned out to be the better of the two matches. Enough. Raw Elimination Chamber. It boils down to the CM Punk Jericho because it's, you know, the stories revolving around him. The other four are just pawns in this whole thing. Right. So there's no point talking of, well, well, if I, if I have to mention something about each of the four wrestlers, our truth where, why, I'll tell you something. I don't know if, I must have missed him getting eliminated because I'm getting problems streaming my shit. Right, that's our truth out the way. Um, Dolph Ziggler, you see, if you're a Ziggler fan, DJ Front, you know where I'm going with this. If you're a Ziggler fan, slap yourself, man. The fuck is he? The man's wearing a pink brief, man. What sort of shit is that? Man's wearing a pink brief in Elimination Chamber? No one, you, you ass whooped. You're a damn fool, you. Kofi Kingston. Dolph Kingston was killing it as usual with his spider techniques and all his abilities. And what did he get through his trouble? He get physically dashed out the chamber by Jericho. And that's what happened. Where is bun? Jericho, you know what I mean? Jericho's thinking, yeah man, you see me? I told ya! I'm the best in the bomber clutch here, man. I mean the best in the world! The best in the world, we say! Turn round, PAPS! Get kicked out the chamber by CM Punk. The Jericho flies out the chamber. Yes, at this point, the chamber um, gates are actually open. You know what I mean? You, you, you know what I mean? Jericho now flies into the cameraman and apparently boxes his head off the camera or whatever. Knocks himself, knocks himself out cold. That might be, I don't know, man. The way it happened, I, I, I don't know. It might, look, it might still be storyline to me. I, I, I don't know how to, what, how to make of it, man. You know, in this whole scene. But knowing that it was here, Pop himself that did that, that kicked Jericho in the head and he fly out the chamber 10 miles and lick down the cameraman. Whatever, man. You know, he was meant to be going up there, under condition, like he had a, some of the concussion or something. Never followed it up. Weak. Next match. Beth Phoenix versus my girl, my new, my new soon-to-be wife, Tamina. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I said it. Tamina Snooker. You can keep your Eve. Yeah, you know I mean, Eve, Eve, I love you, but someone better's come along. Sorry, Eve. Bella Twins, I love you too, man. I, I, I enjoyed the whole two-on-one thing. I, I love that shit. Oh, oh, put an office woman off. Now we come across a real woman, Tamina. <laughs> Just like I said in the preview, I knew she was going to lose against Beth Phoenix. Because, you know what I mean? Tamina was more concerned on, on hitting Beth Phoenix with the super move. And pinning her one, two, three. Because Tamina was doing some moves, and I said, "Thinking, yeah, yeah, pin her, get her, get her now, one, two, three. Tamina weren't, 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 Tamina weren't listening to me, man. So she, she was more concerned of going up top ropes, hitting, hitting the super move. 
that ultimately became a downfall. Beth Phoenix did win. Okay. They're like, is there anyone that can beat Beth Phoenix? Oh dear. I have to shake my hair. I have to shake my hair. Carla. Um, anyway, next match. Next match. No way to. Um, yeah. This, uh, this actually. Um, this is actually um, interesting me, you see, because there was rumour that these guys was meant to be like in the building and it happened. Now what happened was, and I think this is going to be a, like an early WrestleMania prediction. It, 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 you know what I mean? To you it may seem wild, but at the same time, you, you know what I mean? You probably think, well, that's, that's kind of that's possible still. This is what happened. You see, the, the, the shit is that John Meningitis wants to take over Raw and SmackDown, right? Tutus, Alberto Del Rio, Christian, and Mark Henry. The three of them come out oh, alongside a Tonga. And then basically they're running Teddy Long saying, Teddy Long's corrupt, this, that, the other. You know what I mean? He's not fair. He makes us he makes us fight when we broke up and this, that, the other. He's not, he, you know what I mean? We, you should kick him out and you should, and, 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 and meningitis, you know what I mean? You should, you should roll a roll right now and we'll continue to kiss your, you know what I mean? Kiss your nasty ass. You know what I mean? It's like, yo. And there's been, and there's been injectors fixing his tie like, yeah, I should, I should be the, I should be the, um, the general manager of Royal Smackdown. And you, Fuji Boy, should, should, should kiss my ass. And you can suck my dick while you're at it. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. And then Teddy, Teddy Long finds out about it. Teddy Long's like, see, so. Meningitis wants to go around Smackdown. It's a good idea, you know, still. Yeah man, I'm with that, you know, one man should grow around right now. In other words, Teddy Long wants the position too. The Grant says this, WrestleMania, I think that pick about two WrestleMania 23 where it was Donald Trump and Vince McMahon that had a that had a representative fight for them and a the loser, well they, 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 they get their hair cut, you know what I mean? They get their hair cut bored and shit. The Grant says this, I think WrestleMania they're gonna have like a Maybe a tag team like four on four, three on three, one on one, whatever. Tag team match, maybe elimination, not sure, but probably as a tag team match. Representing, representing for meningitis, Mark Henry, Christian, Abel Adiro, Atonga versus whoever Teddy Long may have as his um, representatives. They have a fight at WrestleMania. The winner, the, 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 the um, general manager that they're repping, takes all the roles right now. That's what I can. That's what I can see. You know what I mean? It may not even be four. It might be one on one or whatever. That's what I can see. You know what I mean? Thought about this, please. Thought about that, please. I think that's where they're going with that at this stage. Now, SmackDown Elimination Chamber, which I find a more enjoyable personally. You know what I mean? Santino Marella on some Rocky Balboa shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Running upstairs and. And, pu and punching down meat and this that the other training the training for the um the new match that was that was kind of joke still and it turned I mean it, now look, this is one thing I slightly got wrong you know what I mean I mean obviously at the time that I did the preview Randy Orton was still active but Randy Orton mash up or whatever and um you know co comes to the match now and Santino he actually the, the man yeah was actually surviving in that motherfucker I was like Rousey Santino. I mean, we all knew he wasn't gonna win. What I didn't see coming was to be, to be, to be honest with you, and I should have really, was that Daniel Bryan would emerge to be the, the champion. Um, he, he, he emerged to hold down his title. Daniel Bryan. Now that's this is kind of funny still, because Daniel Bryan's in his little pod, in his little chamber sitting, and the big show. He's a bet, man. You know what I mean? He wasn't getting. He, he wasn't rocking him up because Daniel Bryan was the last to come out. Big show. He just thought, fuck it. I'm gonna rip these chains with my bare hands. Rip the chain with my bare hands. I'm gonna come in that. I'm gonna come in that pod that you're hiding in. That you're hiding in like a bitch. I'm gonna rock up your blouse cup. You imagine what you know? Daniel Bryan shit himself. You know? I saw like that's a new new in the elimination chain. I'm not sure. Anyway. And anyway, big time mash him up now. Rock him up. I mean, it was time for Bryan's time to come out. You know what I mean? They was fighting outside and then and then Big John broke rock him up through the chamber and was like, Rot it! You see, only someone from the Attitude Era, Big Show that is, would could do something like that, man. Where is Brian? You're the only other man's like, 
anyway, you know, it didn't turn, you know, Brian, it, it turned out to be, it, it turned out to be the man in there, and then Sheamus come out, Sheamus come out to right at the end of the chamber, kick down Daniel Bryan and say, yeah, I'm gonna fight you at WrestleMania, motherfucker. Let me see you get out of this. You know what I mean? I'm me, I do it, no, you know. I think we got so many, I'm me, I do it. Then there was a next match, Swagger versus somebody else. Anyway, I'll check on Facebook and do whatever. Next match, <laughs> next match, the John Cena versus Kane, uh, caught the ambulance to pick up the people match. Um, you know, I know some of us was hoping that John Cena would turn badly, but let's think about it on the real. In order to turn bad in wrestling, in the business wrestling, in, in, in wrestling business, in order to turn evil, turn heel, right? You have to pretty much turn on somebody who's a good guy. You know what I mean? Kane's already a bad guy, so I'm there thinking, how is John Cena going to embrace But well, the only thing I can think of is if Zack Ryder came out and he turned on Zack Ryder. Well, Zack Ryder already broke up from Raw. You know what I mean? So, in the end, they had their, they had their match. You know, I mean, was, you know what I mean? They went, they went, to, all over, they went to all over the arena, this, that, the other. It turned out that and they was fighting on top of the ambulance. Um, Kane, no, John Cena, pick up, pick up Kane, sent him for the FU or attitude adjustment into some dumpster or whatever it was and then dashing out the ambulance and the ambulance said, gone! Well, we knew that was, well, we knew, okay, we, you know, we knew John Cena was going to win that match, you know, giving momentum, giving it going into Big Big WrestleMania against the Rock. <laughs> the grant says this, realistically, I can actually see John Cena actually, let's, let's say, all right then, WrestleMania, if Cena beats the Rock, he'd have to turn baddie at that moment to do it. Like WrestleMania 17 where Austin turned evil in the actual match, he actually turned heel in the match. You know what I mean? And gets the rock, because both of them was goodies going into that match at WrestleMania 17. Austin turned evil with McMahon coming in and was nicking down the rock in the chair about 100 times before he pinned him one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? Something like that John Cena's gonna have to do. You know what I mean? He's gonna have to do something like that, my word up. Oh, it's gonna have to be a violent team. It's gonna have to be a violent match. It can't be on no locking, you know what I mean? Initial locking and going into armbar and headlock and all that bullshit. Fuck that. I want some proper bat 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 I want I want that violent shit going on, you know what I mean? That's what I want man. Well it's PG man, so I, I expect too much man and me being an attitude ever specialist, get me. <coughs> and you know what I mean? That's pretty much of all I've got to say about that. There is your Elimination Chamber. All it was was a stepping stone to get to WrestleMania. Now, if you, if you want, you know what I mean? You want my opinion? I think the last Raw Super Show that we had was better than Elimination Chamber. Hell, that that Dwayne, that, that Dwayne Johnson fiasco that happened on the Smack Talk Center, that was better than Elimination Chamber. Why? Because it had people talking. I'm only talking about Elimination Chamber because this, that's my job, that's what I'm going to do. But, flipping hell, man. Must do for AWF, guys. Come on, man. Six weeks left, man. Build up that shit. Tonight on Raw, the Undertaker's supposed to come out and say, Yo, Triple H, man, what are you saying, Holmes? You, 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 you want to be 28 nil or not? <laughs> I'm out. I, I'm out, Smack Talk Center, man. Enjoy the rest of the day, man. You know what I mean? If you're watching Raw tonight, man, hit, I mean, hit me up on the private message. <laughs> Peace. Be gone.